Jonathan, Felicia, congratulations. Both of you have made it through the first round of this competition, which means you're going into the final round back at your home forges where you'll be building an iconic blade from history. Now, Blacksmith, do me a favor and take a look over your right shoulder. That ship right there is the Charles W. Morgan, and it is the last wooden whaling ship in existence. Now, on that ship, whalers would be out at sea using a variety of tools. For this final round of competition, we want you to build a specific one of them. Bladesmiths, you will be building this. This is the Flensing Knife. Dating back to the 18th century, the Flensing Knife, also called the Mincing Knife, was a vital tool for the American whaling industry. This blade featured a long, curved, very sharp edge design to remove blubber from large whales. The flensing knife was used routinely on board massive whaling ships, which acted as floating factories, harvesting blubber and boiling it down in their onboard furnaces to create high quality oil that helped turn America into an industrial powerhouse. One of the last remaining wooden whaling ships in existence is docked right here at the Mystic Seaport Museum. Now, good luck, Bladesmiths. We will see you right back here at Mystic Seaport Museum in four days. My name is Felicia Howard. I am 18 years old. I'm from Catoosa, Oklahoma, and I am a full-time bladesmith. I'm not sure what we're doing. I don't know how we're going to do it, and I'm a little bit worried. If I won $10,000, I would repay my mom and dad for that brand new anvil. I took out a business loan from them, and it would be great to be able to pay that back. <laughs> I've decided that I want the socket on the outside of my shaft. And so I just want to draw that out to width and get it wrapped. And I have finished the forging part of my flensing knife. I am ready for quench. Mm, that's pretty significant. It is pretty warped, and so I think I'm going to have to requench it. I just love redoing work, you know? It's so much fun. Since I already quenched it, there is a risk of overstressing your steel, which can cause fracturing. But that warp can prevent it from performing well. It's straight. <laughs> it worked out pretty great. <laughs> there have been a lot of challenges, but I'm pretty happy with the build. Yeah, it's pretty sharp. My name is Jonathan Howe. I'm 33 years old. I'm from Groton, New York. I have been bladesmithing for about four years. Uh, I got into it because I am also a martial artist and I make my own practice weapons. I have no idea what to expect because it's forged from a single piece of steel. There is no seam, no connection point between the socket and the knife. And that junction is a crucial part. If I hit on cold metal, it could cause stress fractures that can show up later. I'm gonna start working on the blade, getting it in line with the socket, starting to put the curve into it. I've got the blade hardened, quenched, tempered all yesterday. So today is all about starting the handle. So I've got this six foot piece of hickory. I need to remove a bunch of material so that I can actually slide into the integral socket on the blade. And then I can start removing material on the handle to make it comfortable. I need to make sure everything's tight because if it's too loose, when they go to test it, it could just fall apart. Ready for the handle. Nice, tight mechanical fit. I'm pretty confident with the construction of my weapon. There is a bit of epoxy in there to keep the wood from moving around, and I have two brass pins for the mechanical combination advantage. Being a martial artist, I have to test it. I want to know how it feels. Overall, I just want to play with it. Ooh, that is sharp. Basements, welcome to the dynamic kill test. Jonathan, you're up first. You ready for this? Yes, sir. I'm nervous. All right, Jonathan, let's talk about your flensing knife here. First up, the handle here. 
It's nice and ovoid, and it really fits my hand for a grip and good retention. Your edge held up nicely. No issues, nice balance, wieldability and lethality is good. And overall, you'll keel. Thank you. All right, Felicia, your turn. You ready? Sure. Let's do this. Since I had to requench my blade a couple times, the edge might break off or roll. I could win or it could break gloriously and I could lose. All right, Felicia, let's talk about your flensing knife here. First up, it's a very light weapon that you have designed over here. I like the way it feels with the handle here. Your edge cuts very deep into this ballistics dummy. But during the test, you have two points right here where it took a little bit of a chip. But I like the way it feels. And overall, your flensing knife, you will keel. Thanks. All right, bladesmiths, welcome to our dynamic strength test. The fish and dock pole chop. Jonathan, you're up first. Are you ready for this? Yes, sir. OK. All right, Jonathan, your blade was cutting beautifully. It was holding up nicely, but I started to feel it loosen a little bit. What really caused that break was the pin. The pin is very close to the edge of your shaft here. All that dress goes right into the pin and or right around the shoulder. And you can see this is where it broke. Jonathan, the test was going so well. We thought you were going to make it all the way through, but unfortunately, your blade did take a catastrophic failure on the seventh strike on the dock pole here. You're not out of the fight yet. You know how this goes. Felicia, in order to take home the title of Forge Fire Champion and get a check for $10,000, your blade will have to survive all of these fish and seven strikes on the poles. Are you ready? Sure. All right, Dave, take it away. Here we go again. Having already taken edge damage, I don't know if my blade can handle seven strikes. <laughs> Can totally see my blade just shattering around the post, flying off into the water. I am not optimistic that my blade will survive. Everything held up? Felicia, congratulations. Your blade made it through all of the strikes in our test. Now, Jonathan, you're clearly a talented smith. You fought so hard through this Mystic Seaport Challenge. But unfortunately, because your blade did suffer a catastrophic failure during your test, your time in this competition has ended. We want to say thank you for coming out and trying so hard. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank, thank you, Jonathan. Jonathan. I'm very disappointed. My handle broke. but. 
I had a wonderful time. Well, Felicia, that means you are the new Fortune Fire champion. You are the youngest female champion. You'll be receiving a check for $10,000. Well done. I'm pretty stoked. <laughs> yeah, it's a little more clout than I expected, so that's nice. <laughs> If I can get some exposure, being a woman in a very man, saturated market. I'm so excited. It's so cool. Look, I won. <laughs> now I can actually repay my mom and dad for that brand new anvil.